Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Let's get started. Rise and shine to all those that stayed up all night long. Okay. What we have on the agenda today. We have the Wimpy Weasel OG of Dregs of YouTube. We have Drool Boy Scott Bromage. We have from the depths of Satan himself, we have Cloven Hooves and Nicola and Coke Bottle Coke Car. Let's see, who should we start off with? Oh, I know what I wanted to start off with. Um, to anybody I'm liking out there, that I want to let you know that um, I am seeing all your streams. I'm thumbing up all your videos. Um, even if I'm not present, I'm keeping it on your streams and letting it play through. And I'm just not typing in chat rooms. Except for my own. I'll click on your panel links. Um, but I'm just not typing in chat rooms. Too hard to keep track of my conversations. If I make a comment, I can... Um, screen capture that and go on about my merry way, but I don't want to leave a bunch of comments in a chat room and not be able to keep track of them with what's going on. Um, so don't think I'm not listening in. I'm watching all you guys that um, I've shouted out before. I'm watching your streams. Just know that. I'm not ignoring you. Thought I'd about to make that sh clear because, you know, you don't expect people to come over to yours if you're not going over to theirs, so. Okay. I woke up from my granny nap. Okay. Let's start with, um, oh, let's go ahead and start off with Coke Bottle Coke Car. That's the easiest probably for my mind right now. Um, she's a little bit jelly of me, and she's a little bit butthurt of me. So she's a little bit spreading some lies. It's all good, but the other thing was something about rats tearing up my husband's brand new truck wiring. No big deal, but just to let the crowd out there know that it was squirrels. If anyone's seen our driveway, um, we got two different well, we got room for like four cars and then a long gravel driveway. And where some of the cars can park, where we pile a lot of our, and stack a lot of our firewood are two huge trees. It's outside in the, um, and the squirrels last, or not last winter, winter before that, shortly after we bought our truck, went up there and they like to tear the insulation off the wires to make their nest and then to store their nuts up there. In the middle of the winter, out in the open, rats aren't going to congregate, Colleen. It's just not happening. Now, if I had it parked up inside of an old barn or someplace where they can make a nest, I could see that. But, you know, so I'll straighten that out for you. Yeah, you're right. We had Good morning, y'all, your mama. You're right. We had to take it in and pay good money to have that wiring all redone. Not an easy task to do. But at least we had the money to have it done, huh? And had it done ASAP, huh? And we don't have to depend on getting people and pay people for rides. Oh, no, I'll get to OG. He didn't smack me around. He said my name. He didn't smack me around, though. But... Yep, it's afternoon. It's okay. It's okay. And then um, she played this video from this dude that passed away numerous years ago that was a YouTuber. 
I wasn't friends with him. I knew who he was. I think I talked to him a few times. Might have liked a post or two or commented to him. I mean, I talked to him in chats and stuff. I don't know if I ever did up on panels. His name was Finding Freedom. And he was friends with Rich Guz um, back in the day. So Colleen had to pull up a little video in play where um, he's inviting China to three over to go hunting with him. And, uh, hey, Mr. Jones. And then he says something like, for you, and he doesn't invite her over, but he says something about him hanging with for you, T-W-O. You know, well, so she plays that like that's a big threat against her life. Someone that's already passed away. She's still trying to play victim off of it. The other dude ended up having cancer. Rich did. He survived cancer and has went on about his way. And that's what she's trying to pull up for clout and for victimhood. Hey there, Urban Disciples. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing well yourself. Well, I just wanted to let you all know that, yeah, that the gun comment was to fry, um, from fry, finding freedom to China to three, James Dalla Boussiar, and not Colleen. But she's held on to that video clip for years. And then she tried to put it like it's with me because I knew Rich and was good friends with Rich. I guess that ties me in with this other dude finding freedom that passed away stupid stupid shit just the victimhood of it all just the victimhood of it all i'm telling you so hey menthol man good afternoon so i just want to let you guys all know if you heard that that finding freedom's been passed away long gone rich is like doing his own thing there was never any threats against them. She's just playing it because, you know, she's a left-wing extremist, in my opinion. And she's trying to um, try to say all of us are, I don't know, we're Christian LARPers and Christians that attack her Muslim faith. And, you know, I saw her the other day in a chat room. She typed in these foul names for Muslims. Nobody was calling her that, but she was typing it over, Joan, she was typing it over there in Scotty's, and I don't know if you or y'all, your mama saw it, but to Nicola, because Nicola has a problem with her, so she's sitting there typing in like, I don't know what she, oh, I screenshot it, it was Muzzy's, was one of them. Now, for her to supposedly be a Muslim convert, and, um, her have to go in and try to play victim by her typing in foul names towards herself is pretty pathetic in my opinion. You didn't see it? Yeah. Good morning, Rituals. Or good afternoon. Yeah, it's pretty pathetic. And I, I know several people that have seen that pattern throughout the years with her. So... Just another thing I thought thought you guys would see. Yeah, she's over there blaming that on Nicola. When uh, I don't get along with Nicola at all, but um, I never heard her call her out on her faith. So she might have said something about it. Uh, I, I don't even remember. I don't know. But Colleen, it was you typing in filthy Muslim names to yourself. My goodness. Becky, you and I were very were there from the very beginning with Barney. Yes, Prince of Drama saw it. Yeah. You found it odd? Yeah. It it was. That's how everyone that's known her since the very beginning. Yeah. Um, I got the whole scoop on it. You know, it's it's 
I think in one of my other videos, I explained it all. She married a man, a Palestinian, brought him over. Um, he currently lives with his first wife, not her, but because of their customs and their beliefs and everything. Yep, she did go after my kids. Clear back in the day, she did. Um, they have to take care of their wives, whether they leave them or not, for the rest of their life. And she knows that. So she knows she can marry him, leave him, and still be taking care of him to a certain point. Yeah, she volunteered it because she wants to be the victim of it. Nobody said it to her. She's the one that brings it up. I mean, I've got a recorded saying she doesn't practice it, this, 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 and you know, and but she uses it for her victimhood. So I'm just calling it out. Yes, I want to touch on this one one second. Um she put a picture of my underage daughter up on a video. This is way back in the day, probably around 2017, if I had to take a guess. And uh, she was stalking my Facebook page. That's how I found out because I thought, you know, I thought everything was private on there. That's when I was new to social media and I didn't realize like profile pics were public type of thing or so. And she took that. Then she did a whole post showing me how it was public, that she didn't steal it, and blah, blah, blah. Well, she was stalking my Facebook page. She went hunting down for me to find my kids, in other words. Thank you. Thank you, Rituals. Um, a lot of people think I just played victim, that nobody was doing anything to me, and then I just came out. Well, that's kind of not the truth. Um, so this woman has been a terror to me since the get-go, since she met a lot of us that were in the Bundy crowd. She was against that, so she just started attacking people that were for it at the time. Regardless of her feelings now on it being a PSYOP and all that, back then none of us really knew, and she just started attacking for no reason. And that's how she came in the picture. None of us knew who she was. This was back in the day when Kim, Mike, myself, all of us got along. And we're all up on a panel together. That's how we met her again was she came up on the panel and said people were attacking her about her deceased son. Yes. And she blamed Rich. Hey, other side. Good afternoon. And we we had no clue of who she was. Anything about her children, she brought them to this platform and said people were attacking her. And we're like, oh, my gosh, that's awful. You know, sorry that's happened to you. And she kind of didn't say nothing. Next thing we know, it was all of us that were attacking her deceased son. It was nuts. And that's how she works. Kind of just like the Muslim thing she did in the chat the other day. She throws it out there herself and then turns around and says, She's a victim that YouTubers are doing this to her. And Rich is a big one. She does not like Rich at all. At all. Which, again, leads right back into James. So her and James D have been good for all these years. And... Um, you know, everyone can think what they want about James and his partying or whatever. And we all know he did his trolling back in the day and he was in the game just as good. But uh, he has his limits. He knows where the line is that he doesn't go past it. So um, I've got, and again, all of this can be screen sh shown. I've got all this on my hard drives, just like Ritual does. Um, one day it was like three in the morning, she's live streaming and she's mad and she's mad at James. 
Okay. And so she starts typing in the chat room about James D and Rich being proud boys, which they weren't. They weren't. And how they were at January 6th, which they weren't. They weren't. Total lie. Total, total lie. And, well, not a whole bunch of people were watching that live stream. But, you know, it goes through Google and all of that. And I'm just like, wow. Wow. How can she straight tries to set people up at the federal level? This is the same woman that um, another person caught her saying, you know, if you have any information on January 6th, you need to contact the FBI. Shortly after she did that. So that's what this woman does is set people up and try to set them up for real. Not just any YouTube drama, but real life bullshit that can get people in trouble. Not that they could get in trouble because they weren't ever there, but why Why even put it up there that they might be questioned or get some kind of harassment because of it? He can put a big target on people. And, you know, this rich guy's, his son was in the military. He's went through cancer. He's got a beautiful wife and family. He, last I heard, he was doing health stuff, like, because his, um, his eating habits and just his herbal medicine and all that, he, he personally feels like that helped cure his cancer. So, and, and he was always out to help people, always out to help people. Rich Guz. He had no problem with anyone. You know, unless you try to give him problem. And all he would say was, you know, I'd stay away from her. She's bad news or this or that. Yeah, Tacos is a complete leftist. Now, that's some shit, you know, getting in people in trouble like that. That's that's some bullshit. And then she wants to mock around about her Antifa. And, you know, she wants to laugh like, oh, Becky's got the Black Panthers coming after her. Um She's scared. Um, yeah, he hasn't been around in several years, menthol man. But the thing is, is she did that to me. She went, I guess, I don't know. She'll tell a story about she knows Black Panthers or something like that. They helped her out one time. I don't know if it was in front of a mosque, a shooting, or a gun was pulled or some shit like that. I can't remember the story now. It's been so long. But the whole thing was, is she went and contacted the Black Panthers to have them come after me. That Huey P. Newton, or what is his name? Someone in the chat probably knows who he is. Uh, he's passed away now, but, you know, I'm not afraid of that either. But it, it's just that kind of crap that she doesn't keep it on YouTube. She goes and recruits. If you notice, she'll have new people come up or people you don't know. That's because... In her channel. That's because she's been off telling her stories, her one sided narrative to other people to recruit them over to make them feel sorry for. Her. She's been through several of us doing it. Several of us stood for her, thinking she was getting attacked until we found out it was her that was doing the attacking and then blaming the other person. No, she can't stand Christians either. She's on me about my faith all the time. And that's what I'm, yeah, YouTube amnesia. Nobody ever remembers about it. That's when, you know what, that Rich Goes is a good dude. And him and James D, are, are we're good friends, I'm assuming, are good friends. So, oh, tell me what names I'm doxing now. Go find your girlfriend. She was up all last night. We're going to talk about your girlfriend here, your digital girlfriend here in a little bit, Felamon. She's looking for two toys, and that's just not going to happen. Even Miss Biddy can't stand Christians. <laughs> that one's got to go up right now. 
yeah. And they're attacking her dog and they want her dog dead and they want this dead and they want that dead. And yeah, it's, it's nuts. It's nuts. Anyway, let's move on to the next candidate. Oh, hold on. I got a cough. Oh, let's hit on Mass One for a second. I called Mass One that one. He got really triggered last night and upset. See, I called this shit out because I gave this dude like four or five chances. And I keep saying it's my last chance I'm going to give him. Because he's real nice one minute and then he changes the next. And, well, that's what Mass One does. I've watched him over the years. And this dude doesn't have any what you call per se loyalty whoever is the my um minority on the panel and getting it the worst is the one he goes after the one with the biggest group that's attacking whether it just be two other people or what that's the side he's going to pick he's going to join in with the bandwagon side and we all witnessed this last night he's cool the whole time up there with Scott up there, with Drew Boy up there, with uh, me up there, James up there. Then when Nicola comes out up and calls him out on it, he instantly flipped. And what he do, he goes, he goes um, into the family, into my family. I mean, he talked about his private shit and people he knows that committed suicide and this or that. And he's saying, don't put it out there in the public. Well, when he did, you know, it's like, this man, and this is like seconds after James had just asked him, hey, Mass One, hey, Mass One, straight up. Do you think for yourself or do you follow other people? He's like, man, I think for myself. Didn't see that comment. Yep. It was Barney. It sure was. They want to know who the common denominator is. But do you see rituals doing crap? Or do you see tacos doing the crap? There's your answer right there. Um, I can't keep up with this. I don't know how people do this. Hit all the comments and get them all on there. The Modelo effect. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying there, fellow mon. No, it's um, now Tacos. Tacos, who hasn't been able to stand... Malibu went over in Scotty's and talking about all the men, how she gets all, she takes all the women's men and how Malibu, how Malibu does. So now Tacos is back with Malibu. <laughs> Go figure. Man, crazy with crazy. Okay, so Mass One, I call, called you out on your shit and you didn't like it. You know, you are a funny dude. You do talk a lot. You interrupt. You're rude as fuck when it comes to that kind of shit. Even like when a panel owner is um, yelling at you to chill. You and you're like, haha, I'm the disruptor. Yeah, yeah. It gets old, you know. But um, you are now one that dump, jumps right into the family. So you get to go right on up there with Nicola and Drool Boy Scotty. From Eagle Fang MMA. Yeah, that's what she was complaining about in her stream yesterday. That's why she made a so called chat stream, but she has to pay for StreamYard, so we'll see how that goes. So, 
Mass One, that's all I got for you is, you, you know, figure out yourself. Try to stand on your own because you sure can't take it. You like to dish it out and have fun, but you sure can't take it. Something as simple as your weight. Okay. Scott, girl boy. Stop following me around on other panels. I'm not your or Nicola's chew toy. You psychos need to find somebody else. It doesn't look good wherever I go. You guys end up there. And you end up coming at me as soon as you hop on the panel. Nicola, it was pretty cowardly of you to have me up on the panel for hours and wait till I get off and you come up shortly after that and start running your mouth. And you were over in Scott's chat before that complaining about you being blocked. And I was over there telling you to hit that StreamYard link. So you had every opportunity. But this is the way it is. See, you're in Canada. You hide yourself. No, I could care less who you are. Like, what am I going to do? Nobody wants to dox you, at least not me. What am I going to do if I did know your name? You're in Canada. Okay? Like, I could care less, Cola. That's, a, you know, I could care less that your daddy's from Australia and you look like a Viking and your mommy's from, what, Diane, South Africa, and whatever. I don't care. Nobody wants to dox you. I tell you to turn on your cam because you like to hide and call other people names. When usually that's a, a telltale sign of someone that's ugly as fudge and can't show herself. Just saying. Oh, Cole is not even here. Yeah, that's because she was drunk. She stayed up to like 5 a.m. drunk getting hit on over there. And well, I'm tired of her. Yeah, Mass One does get pumped up by others on the panel. I'm trying to hit these comments and I'm going all over the place way. When I hit, I'm sorry, folks. Let me see. Yeah, some people give him all a wrench. I don't know. Yeah, Mass is funny. He's he's a funny dude. I would like to get along with him. It's just that he jumps one ship and, and piles onto whoever's got the most on their, their hay wagon. You know, that's where he jumps on. Scott, can I get a wrench? No, we're keeping it um, free in here. Nobody's going to get a wrench to time anyone out and do anything stupid in here. Free speech. Yeah, I don't like phones. I like my laptops instead of these phones. Yeah, I, I heard that too. It was pretty disgusting. And to make excuses and not say something about it from Diana was kind of disappointing too. To not call it out on her own in a stream. Yeah, right, Scott. So, um... <laughs> Oh, she will see. I can't type, hit these things. I don't know. I'm hitting them. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> anyway, Nicola, every weekend you get drunk, you want somebody that you can let out all your hate and frustrations on. Honey, I'm not going to be it anymore. I've gave you numerous times to try to get me to trigger. 
Scott keeps saying that it was you and Eric. Man, I don't even remember you. That's how unsignificant you were to me. I don't even remember you being there. Every time I spoke about it, I've never once brought up your name. Why? Because you were so insignificant. I don't even remember you doing all that back then about my niece. So, you know, but you wanted to start on it last night. That's why you're up there with drool boy Scotty and mass one. You know, all you have to do is stay on the other side of that line. It's not that hard. But if you want to be a suicide troll and someone who throws out death threats, then be there with Scotty Bromage. Be there with um, that one, Nicola. <laughs> Juniper comes in like she's somebody. <laughs> when her name was said once, and, oh, man, she reminds me of a Colingo car. She does. She wants to be a victim. I really don't even know who you are besides you support Predward. And you defend Predward. And you came at me for Angela Gallardo. So, other than that, I have no clue who you are. No clue. And don't even care. But you could stay over there with Predward and Angela and that JT Coltice. Yeah. Stay over there with them. Those nasty sons of bitches. Them some sons of bitches over there. Take me to court. Oh, my gosh. You must know Clovis. Oh, my gosh. And, oh, gosh. You're getting court, 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 court. Oh, my gosh. Here she is. See? See the crowd she hangs with? Court all the time. Court all the time. <laughs> Juniper. Juniper, do you not think that every single person in here knows my full name? <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is so funny. That is so funny. You're like behind like four or five years, Jennifer. I suggest you go and do your research and uh, learn your YouTube history and then come back again. <laughs> so by the way, by the way, how, how's Predward doing? How's him and his brother doing? They get any more meth charges? Had they been busted out for child porn on the computer yet? That's good, fellow mon, that you haven't. But you're not going to sway me from my um, topic because you're just, you're over in that predator catching community, which, yeah. Yeah, meth word, pred word. Edvinians, the Edvinians is what some of them are saying now. Ed Vinians. How stupid is that? <laughs> so, Mass One, you like to, by the way, you know, if you got balls the size of grapefruits, that's not really funny. You might need to go to the doctor. Something's wrong with you. Either that or you got a severe case of blue balls. Just saying, that's not really a joke that's good on your part. You might want to listen to that. So, now, Scotty. When you can't, when you and Nicola can't trigger me, well, Mass One's doing it too now. You go straight into my family. You sure do, because it was put up here. Mm. Well, you know, Felomon put out his relate, or Nicola put out how jealous she was about you going to Diana and talking about what a bitch Nicola was to Diana. And you talking about, you know, her mouth and what a cunt Nicola is. To Diana, Di Nicola got jealous as fudge over that. Jealous as fudge. Man, that shit went public. And then when Diana said not to share it over to the other stream, Scotty didn't listen and shared it over there anyway. At least the one-sided conversation of his. So, you know, I I'm just telling you that... Um,
you need you need to figure out that if you don't like people going in on your personal business, whether it's out here or not, don't go in on theirs. That's how it works. There's so many things you can attack or, or go after or put down or troll or LARP over. You don't have to be a suicide troll and a death threat LARPer like Scott Bromage. Nope. That one, Nicola, you don't have to do that. So you decide on what you want to do there. Hey, Gomez, how you doing? Oh, see, like that shit right there. You make me sound, Yaha right now is currently making it sound like we're on a team of a bunch of peas. Team Chomo, he says. Is that kind of disinformation right there? I mean, don't lie about the LARP. I seen, show me where Gomez has been convicted of anything of such, where any of us that you're saying is on this team have been convicted. See how that works? And guess what? I don't think Gomez got his house raided like Fredward did either. I don't think he even had charges written up for child porn on a computer or at their house like Fredward did either. So that's a poor excuse. Anyway, that's about all I was going to say today was, yeah, go for it. Gomez surrounds himself. Now it's self-admitted creeps, huh? Huh. I could say the same for you. You all hang around Scott Bromage and Nicola. I mean... I haven't even looked how many years ago it was when that started. But I know that, um, I know it was longer than 2002 and I pulled up a video with Kim and Scott on there and Scott's going at my niece. So see how that is? Oh, Clovis. We forgot Clovis, man. She's in the title. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Almost forgot there, Lisa Lake. Damn. I'm getting all caught up, man. I'm getting riled up. You ever seen True Grit? Must have been that Cuban cigar. Yeah, this was funny as fudge. Okay, so OG, the, the Brit weasel over there, saying he's going to have to talk to a few good channels that have covered me. Oh, do you, you go into my skeleton and see what you pull out? Because it's not going to be much, bud. You little weasel. It's not going to be much at all. Because I'm a pretty good girl. Yep. In real life, too. Yep. Sure am. I don't have anything. Any kind of criminal charges. I'm not, uh, I'm not a creep, a freak, anything like that. So, you go over there. Um, Clovis says she's not recruiting you, but she comes at you and tattletales to you, tries to snitch to you with a bunch of lies. And then what do you tell her? I'll see what info I can get on Becky Dean. She hasn't changed one bit. <laughs> so, yes, she did. And we watched Tacos drop the link for OG's bid right in there. It was timed. We watched her comment get deleted, then come back up and all the sock accounts thumb it up. Man, that's that was a a worse setup, I think, than what the um, James D and Tiff setup was from Katie and Tacos and Scott. It sure was. I'm going to get a drink. Hold on.
Jennifer doesn't think anybody's heard Becky Dean. <laughs> she got a big one on me. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> no, you got the left-wing extremist tacos with Malibu now. <laughs> okay, Clovis Harmon. So after you do that, what do you do last night? You guys are such cowards. Why can't a woman confront another woman without the man jumping in? Why do you, Clovis Harmon, Tacos did it too. She got uh, the weasel. But um, Clovis Harmon, why do you want Scott Bromage to do your dirty work? Why are you such a pussy when it comes to that? Huh? Why are you such a pussy when it comes to that? I sat there and watched you, watched you type over in Scott's, and you're like, hey, Scott, hey, Scott, go in, go in on Becky, ask her about this, ask her about that, go in her on this. You were over there demanding, like you were passing orders through Scott's chat when Scott was mirroring, he wasn't, he was mirroring the audio, not the um, video part. He jumps up on the panel to come at me, and then you're over there telling them what to do. Talk about teamwork and ganging up. What pussy ass cowardly moves? Man. And then you all like, how many of you is it going to take to try to trigger me and fail? And stay above that line, huh? You can't. That's why you try to... Scott, Nicole, and Mass one are trying to go below that line. And Clovis, why you surely have with my kids' his father, my son, and everything else. So you are such a cowardly woman. I challenge you again, woman, to let's have a conversation where we take turns talking. But you can't do that, can you? Can you, Clovis Hartman? You ran to drool boy. That's what you did. How pathetic of a human being is that? You know what happens in real life when people do that. Man, I picture you like dipping down behind him. Hiding behind the kiddie pool. As he's sucking on the filter. Get him. Do this. Do this, Scotty. Do that, Scotty. Come on. Come on, Scotty. Say this. Ask her about that. Clovis, you're pathetic. You're pathetic. I don't know what, what more else to say about you. I'll reiterate it again. Since you're running around saying you can't even be proud of your children anymore. No, I hear a lot of people brag about their kids. Matter of fact, I bragged about mine coming over on a motorcycle just the other day. What you don't have to do is give out all the personal information, give out their medical history, give out dates, times, and locations of where they're at, especially since they're underage. You don't have to use them as your weapon of choice to bait people out here on the internet. Like you have done to the Urban Disciples. Like you did to Hoax Wars. Um, using you on the sexual thing when it was JT. And you knew that. You see JT up there all the time with Predward. All the time with Predward. That was lame. Everywhere you go, for years you've done this. Okay? So, I challenge you. My panel or your panel. But, you know, your panel, you like to throw people off and mute them out or whatever. Oh, remember, Claire, back in the slap of dawn day when you set me up there? You, why do you have to have a man do your work? Why? It's just the internet. It's not like I could punch your dentures through to the back of your throat from where I'm at. Now, maybe if you were in front of me, you might have to worry about that now, wouldn't you? Especially after what you've done to my family. But 
we're not. This is the internet, and I don't plan on ever coming to find you. So, why are you so worried about it? Okay, does that cover Clovis? Cloven hooves. Let me see. Check these comments. Let me just go through and get them all real quick. I'm sure I missed some. Yeah, Gomez, I'm always watching your vids, by the way. I just, I don't type in any of the chat rooms, but I'm giving you a thumbs up. Same with you, Urban Disciples. Several people out there. Always try to give my thumbs up. Yeah, Juniper's being used, and look, she's coming in here trying to be their little, their little lap dog right now. Did Clovis send you in here? Or did Angela send you in here? Yeah, that was another thing she said. And they gave my, my docs to Mark Connors again. Wow, that was years ago. Again, like, what's happening to you now, Colleen? Uh, I'll disagree with you right there. Philemon. No one would have had a clue about online issues if it wasn't for Yaxley and Scotty talking to the ex-husband. You guys took it offline and into a personal life and then followed through with Yaxley even going on an airplane to go into court and Scotty's stream being played. Yeah. And now you guys are trying to do the same thing and set up. Um, I don't like the girl, but you're trying to do the same thing to that penny. So it's like. Get real. So Scotty, Scotty's got a past history, just like Yaxley, of going in on people's personal life to try to hurt them in real life over YouTube drama. And he calls that up in his troll game. He thinks everyone wants to play like him below the belt. And that's just not true. Most of us aren't pieces of shits. Yep. I've had to wrangle a few stallions in my life. You jelly? Looks like you jelly. I know, Malibu Sky. Make me puke. I would think everyone by now has has it and knows what the game is. I mean, like, that's what they do is LARP. Like, how can you think anything serious out of a troll's mouth and a LARPer's mouth? Same way with Scott. How can you take anything serious from Scott Bromage when you know he's a suicide troll and a death LARPer? You can't. They straight up lie about it. Oh, come on. You know what, Philemon? If she had reported to that ADL, Scott's stream would be down. It would be down and gone. As much anti you crap that you put in there on a daily basis. Oh, my Lord. That crap gets so old. Get over yourself and your researching. Who are you trying to educate? These are the same people you saw yesterday and the day before and the day before and the day before and the day before. Word crimes. Those are my favorite. The word crimes are my favorite. It was. Have you told Scotty how sick his was? Urban Disciples talked about a video he saw. One video he saw. The other people commented that they saw the same video. Have you, Prince, Prince of Drama, have you talked to Scotty about all of his um, sucking on horses' cocks and all that crap and drinking their semen and their urine and all that? Is that pretty sick and disgusting too? I think so. But, you know, there's got to be biased when there's teams. Didn't you just say 
hear me say both of them? Haven't you heard me talk about both sides each time? I have. I sure have. Not you guys. You have a selective memory. Selective memory. And you're supposedly new around here and hearing all this. Carlton is in the house. Thanks, Prince. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, Thelamon, tell me about Nicola, the white nationalist. I've got that recorded where she she's a proud white nationalist. And here you are calling urban disciples a porch monkey. Hmm. So is that why you guys are digital boyfriend and girlfriend? You're both racist as fuck? I mean, not just racist against blacks, but man, the whole Jew culture and the whole Jew race, because, you know, they go by DNA now, and then it's also considered like a culture. So tell me about that, Philemon. Do you, are you also racist against all blacks? Do you call people of Eastern Europe descent sand ends too? Or is it just blacks? I'd like to know. I have a question about that. How far does, so it's not just Jew hate that you have. And I want to let you know, you know, you don't specify Jews that are in control. You just hate all Jews. Yeah, ones you don't even know have anything to do with all of this. You just hate them all. So, let me know. Do you hate, do you call them sand ends too? Just like you call black people porch monkeys? Wow, fellow mon. Goodbye horses. You dox people all the time. Juniper, you've just heard the one-sided narrative. The only people I've doxed are those that doxed me and mine. Period. Period. End of story. You look pretty stupid, and it must be quite embarrass embarrassing for you to get owned on every single comment you make. You thought you were going to dox me in here, and I can openly say my full name. You think you know, and you just don't. Whoever sent you in here um, as a little chew toy, well, I already tore you up, and I need a new one. Oh, yeah. There's Scotty trying. But you can't seem to get horse cock off your mind, can you, Scotty? Poor Juniper. Oh, it's not me that likes it. It's not me that likes it. It seems to be Scotty. Yeah, he projects. You might have to go live, Urban Disciples, and talk about this because he's really on you in here. He's a sick, sick man. You know, he brings it up. And then he talks about, well, Becky's winning on everybody else's family, and she comes up there and drops my family, so that's why I went on here. No, Scotty. Never mentioned any of your family or your girlfriend back in 2022 when you were coming at me about my niece. Now, was I? I could pull up that video. Sure was it. Didn't even mention your girlfriend. I don't even think you had her back then. Or I didn't know about it. And you came at me about my husband. Oh, for quite a while before I finally said girlfriend. One time I said Nicole as her name. Not said any last names with her. And one time I've said your mom's name. But you want to know my niece's baby's daddy and all of this stuff. And every single one of my relatives now, don't you? And you guys, you and Clovis and um, Kimberly and all of them were just dropping in all of the names in the chat room. So, yeah, go figure. That lie's not going to work, drool boy. But you can keep trying. Keep trying. Google mods don't allow porch monkeys 
to be spelled correctly. Oh, probably because it's racist as fuck. Okay, 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 okay. Felamon, why are you with Nicola? I mean, that woman straight up dominates you. You called off Gan you called out Gandalf for trolling Kim in a fun way. And Nicola straight up said, rats be ratting, and called you out. You got so pissed off, you said, I'm out. You don't think I got all that recorded in those screenshots? <laughs> I do, I do, I do, I do. I do, I can screen share them at any given time. Yes, I can. Oh, my goodness. And then, man, you have to go to Diana again. The jealousy. Cole is a little jealous of you going to the German lady for help about your cruel, cruel girlfriend. Why are you with her? Why is such a bitch boy with her? Stand up on your own. All you can do is throw out racist hate. You are a sick, sick man, fellow mon, full of hate for no reason. Your mama must have raised you to hate race and all this stuff just because. Just because they're not like you, huh? You're one of those type of people. I feel pretty sorry for you because that's pretty pathetic. You're missing out on a lot of good people out there in the world. So you might possibly become good friends that can help you in life. Man, expand your horizons. But instead, you got to hate on them. Race, color, creed. You do. Pretty sad, Thelamon. Yep, free speech. Go for it. It's also my free speech to call you out on it. See, Scotty, Scotty, what is it with you and bestiality? I keep telling you, are you jealous because it's okay for Nicola in Canada, but it's not in the USA? And Scotty, why do you got, why can't you guys do things on your own? Why do you have to bring up your female bitch? Like your female dog? Like you got her on a leash. Go with this one. And that's not going to happen anymore. Because you know what? There's no combo to be had. There's nothing to gain with Nicola. She just wants to spew out hate and say, uh, uh, um, whatever. And, um, um, um. And then she's proud. She's proud that she can drink two guys at the same time under the bus with her vodka. What a slushy. That was my husband ringing in. Oh, there's Nicola. There you are. Yeah. Next time, don't be such a bitch. And you know what? I'm not going to allow you to chew on me. Just because you're so seething full of hate and you're a drunk alcoholic that wants to fight every time she gets drunk. Go find another toy. And see if you can stay above the line. Without family. Let's see. Because as soon as you got desperate last night, you went there. And so didn't mass one. As soon as you find out that I'm laughing at your sorry asses and you can't trigger me, that's where you go. It's pretty pathetic. It truly is. It truly is. A lot of lies, Herb and Disciples. The horsey cult. I'll be in that cult. Yes, you are a psycho. Laugh it up all you want, but I think about everyone in this side of YouTube has seen you and what you do. Man, I wanted to get up there and defend Diana, but I knew she would just keep tolerating it. So I got up there and told you what a vile fucking cunt you were, and I hopped right back down. <laughs> Licensed live streamers coming soon. Kind of like a driver's license. <laughs> oh, Scotty, you know what? <laughs> a narc this a narcissist, a true thing of a narcissist. So 
James was just kind of bragging, showing off, being a little bit proud of his contractor's um, license. And Scott's like, so I don't need one of those licenses. You know, like most people would say congrats or nice job or whatever. Kudos to you. Not Scott. He made it all about him. Like, I don't need. So what's that supposed to mean? What's what's that? I don't need one of them license. He made it all about himself. Dude couldn't even say like, nice job or anything like that. That's a true narcissistic person who cannot even let someone else have a kudos. They have to put the spotlight on them. What a control freak trying to always control it his way. Scotty, have you lost a little bit of control and you're just not happy now? Is that why you're projecting so much? Huh? Is that why you're projecting so much? Oh, rapist, kind of like Dearden, like uh, Dearden, Scotty's friend, who wanted to rape a nurse's son, a disabled nurse's, or a disabled minor, like toddler child, that you all are friends with that goes in there. Yeah, is that right? The same one that you had went to court, y'all went to court with and tag teamed her with. Is that right? People are getting to see what you guys are all about. Same crew is together today that was back then. Sure is. So that means that Scotty's Scotty's the one in with Malibu, folks, because that's where Katie and Tacos are with Tracy and Malibu. And, well, we all watched Scotty um, play the setup on James D. with Tacos on his panel. So Tacos needs a license, too. YouTube friends. I know, right? Like, <laughs> we want in each other chats. We're YouTube friends. Been here, Nicola. There's like four people on this internet that I can really, really trust. Oh, really? Because there's nobody on here that I really, really trust. Not a soul. You know, I got freedom of speech, but I'm tired of your Jew hate in here. I really am. Just want to tell you that. What, y'all? You're offering Lisa $9 to come do you? What the hell? That is disgusting. No, you're not your own team. No, you recruit them all. Oh, this is all they got now. Who's the sick, sick ones? Um, Prince of Drama. Are you calling this shit out now? Huh? Oh my gosh. There's that quote again. Quotation marks. He's got you recorded, Urban Disciples. And Mama wears a dress. <laughs> He's wanting to pay $9. He's desperate over there. <laughs> You're proud of it? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Proud and white. So are you a white nationalist? Yes or no, Felamon? Answer my question. Are you a white nationalist like Nicola said she was? I'm asking straight up. Yes or no. Are you a white nationalist? I'll scroll down. Let's go through all these real quick to get to it. Answer me up, Philemon. Yes or no? Is that how you and Nicola 
became digital boyfriend and girlfriend. I'm coming. I hope you're answering. Unless you're too much of a coward like Clovis Harmon is. You guys remember back in the day when Clovis Harmon did over 300 racist posts? It was during the Ferguson stuff. I do. I got it. She's talking about hanging ends from trees and how they got tall trees to hang them from and all that. All kinds of. She talked about porch monkeys too there, Philemon. Maybe that's why you guys are in with Clovis and Scotty and them. You can't say the truth? Let me know if you're a white nationalist or not. Tell me if it tell me if you just are a racist towards all blacks and all Jews or what it is. Describe it in full for me. We want to see what you got to say. Yeah, there is no getting around it. Scotty is one of the grossest people I've come across. And Nicole is right next to him. I've never seen someone that's more vile and more disgusting than those two. You can shut down these liars later. I'm not lying about a darn thing. Sure aren't. I don't come up here and just lie like Tacos do, does to try to spread disinformation. Oh. UD called you a white cracker after you guys kept calling him the crap. It's like turnabout's fair game. Have you guys not caught on to that yet? I know what's up with the Urban Disciples. He has no problem. Matter of fact, isn't it you guys that always complain that Urban Disciples is too white? That he don't have you. What do you guys lie about? He has no black friends when you all know he does. He likes white people better than he likes black people. Now you're going to turn around and try to call him a racist with that? Mess me with that shit. Not going to work, fellow man. Truth is sick to Becky. That don't even make sense, fellow man. And you're a researcher? Still looking for your answer. I'm going down here. Aw, and Scotty, use the tard. Tard. I work with special needs kids, says Scott Bromage, but I like the retard word. Is there? Oh, Becky thinks she knows my personal life. No, I'm asking you. Are you a white nationalist? Are you a racist against all blacks? I know you are against all Jews. Choose wisely. <laughs> Not in the mood to sing today. Yeah, Diana's a drunk too. It's, I guess it's the being biased. I try not to be biased. Who I like or dislike is one thing, but uh, I try to be pretty equal when it comes to the panel and show both sides. I don't have to scream and holler like Scott and Mass One and Nicola and F1, FM so that um, the truth gets hidden and it's just a controlled one-sided narrative. You know, that control thing with Scotty. But yet you're here. But yet you're here, fellow man. I should start calling you fellow Jew, too, just because you hate it so bad. Oh, fellow man hasn't answered yet. Man, I don't know if I can keep up and get all these in here. Let me just go down. There it is, white and proud again. I know. <laughs> oh, that one makes me crack up. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. I'm glad you heard it. I find it utterly disgusting that because of someone's color of their skin, they have inborn hate in them. 
or because of their face or whatever. Oh, and Philemon cannot answer straight up. Can you, Philemon? Once again, are you going to be a coward? Or are you going to speak the truth? Are you proud of who you are? If you are proud of who you are, Philemon, and have no shame, let me know. If you call all black people porch mon monkeys, if you hate all Jews and all black people, let me know how extreme of a racist you are. Answer the question. Straight up, Prince of Drama, we sure do. We sure do. Man, did you need any blood while you got that uh, heart cracked open in the hospital? I wonder if you got someone, some Jew blood in you or some black man's blood. What would you do? Did you need any blood while you were in the hospital getting your surgery? No, 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 no. Okay, so he's embarrassed of who he is. Your truth is racist. Okay. That answers it. He is a racist. Because he's saying the truth. So all black people. Okay, you're supposed to hate all black people and all Jewish people. And that's the truth. And that's racist. So that's how he gets truth is racist. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Anyway, I just wanted to get an answer. No, he won't. He's... Oh, okay. You don't hate anyone. Throw that in on the last comment. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. I bet you they got your porch monkey for you. <laughs> I bet you like hiding behind the avatar and on the computer because I'd like you to step out from behind your computer screen and talk like that. <laughs> Bellamon. Philemon, Philemon, you are a disgusting person. Disgusting. Yep, sure is. No, I'm not. I read your words. I'd rather be a cracker than a pizza dough. <laughs> Truth knows no. Okay, I'm going to end on that comment and peace out, you guys. That's a good comment right there. Truth knows no race or creed, Philemon. Comment of the day by someone I don't even really get along with, Prince of Drama. I think that's the comment of the day. Truth knows no race or creed. Have a good one, guys, and peace out.